Um, I still think it's a point game. I must admit, though, in the last five minutes, um, I wanted to go and win it. I, we wasn't. I mean, a couple of times when players strolled over to the corner to take it because maybe one all the way from home, but I just felt we finished strong. We had a couple of great, good chances. The goalkeeper made a couple of good saves. Uh, we missed the free kick in the, in the first half, which is a bit disappointing. First half was a little bit, we had chances, they had chances. It was a bit too open. And um, But I thought, in the end, it was a fair result. And I, Whereas at Yeovil, I felt it was two points lost. I thought today it was a point game because they're, they're, they're strong here and when they get it forward, they're, you know, they've got good combinations and good footballers. And uh, we, we coped with that second half and uh, we had to because we couldn't let them have the, uh, the amount of sort of opportunity they had in the, in the first half. But we knew they were going to create that because they are decent. And, and to be fair, we were decent going, going the other way and created a lot of set plays and things. So I'm going home a lot more happier than I normally am from these away games. First half could have been 2-2, two, 3-3 two, three, three at half time. It was very open. Wasn't yeah, it? It, was, it was open and both teams were sort of going for it a little bit, you know, they probably knew that from the previous games that we'd, we'd gone up the opposition, um, so they, you know, they had to work hard to keep in it and we had to work hard to keep in it, so I just said to the boys there that both sets of players respected each other at the end of that game, they knew that both, you know, 22 or whatever it was, 28, 28 players really give it a, give it a go and, and, you know, work their socks off and it was a good football match, I thought. Um, but they certainly respected each other coming off, listening to uh, the two sets of teams talking to each other. Just a bit frustrating that having got the lead, it lasted well, a couple of minutes. Yeah, well that, that happens, doesn't it? I bet it's happened. With, you know, there's always, there's always going to be a team that gets the lead and then the opposition give it a bit of a go to try and get it back. And yeah, it was. We didn't have long, did we, in between it? But but then they might have seen it suddenly that their confidence could have grown. In as much as they got themselves back in the game, and now they're thinking, right, now we get at them. But we, we held out for a little while, uh, the storm, and then we uh, stormed back ourselves with a few chances. Got to see uh, the latest on Nigel Atten go on very quickly after. Yeah, he, he, he just got cramped, and uh, obviously I, I didn't want to leave him out there. Uh, Crucially, wasn't wasting time because I didn't leave him out there. We took him straight off, and uh, and of course. You know, getting Jarrell on, you know that he's going to create something, and uh, we was planning on bringing him on anyway. Uh, and he certainly did his job, so uh, we're pleased because he got us a lot of free kicks, and, and he also had a very well, great strike that the keeper made a very good save. And, and you said, you know, you're going home happy. It's further evidence, isn't there? There's a pattern of play, there's a shape of play, and momentum in the team now. Yeah, I, I'm pleased you, you, know, you said that in a couple of weeks now, and I appreciate that because. That's what's happening. It's not lucky anymore. You know, we are, we are, we are trying to play, and we are trying to move past and moves, and you know, you're upset and through type stuff, and uh, uh, and that's that's where we are at the moment. And I think we've got players that can do that. Uh, we just need to score more than one goal, and then we have a chance of winning the game. Because to be fair, I think we're defending goalkeeper back four, and as a team, we're defending quite well.